Hello, 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 everyone. This is Jonathan Riley. Once again, once again, thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you for all your support. This is Jonathan Riley, in case you didn't hear me from MaximalExposure.net, where we provide online promotions for small businesses because I love small businesses because I because I run one because I love to give my perspectives my insight uh, my experience pass on my experiences to you the small business owner of what not to do and what to do right to make your small business successful and today's topic is a tricky one the evolution of small business ideas. And this is really, um, it should be called the evolution of business ideas. But since I do smoke a focus, <laughs> uh, I'm, um, forgive me for that one. I'm, 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 my mind is in the gutter. This one should be called the evolution of business ideas. But since I do focus on small businesses, I called it the evolution of small business ideas. And this for the layman would be a tricky topic to partake in. This for the layman should be a difficult topic topic to discuss but me a person that has been through the ups and downs of business been and that means been through the successes and especially failures of business it is not and the whole idea of this upload is to end um, all of my up uploads is to make the arena of small business easier for you. That is my goal. That is that is the purpose of me putting in the work, putting in the research and putting in the time and the effort to explain to you what it takes to make your business successful. And since that is my goal to make it easier for you, I'm going to I'm I am going to make it easier on myself. By making it easier for myself, I make it easier for you and to make it easier on myself to make it easier for you. I am going to partake unto you my experiences or my experience and give you my perspective on what you should do or sh and shouldn't do. To make your uh, small business successful. And the topic of evolution, the topic of ideas, coming up with ideas for your business is not an easy one. And first, I'm, I will give you my perspective and then I will give you my experience in dealing with the evolution and ideas of, of running a small business. And then I will give you a closing argument like a lawyer in a courtroom, but far more entertaining. Evolution. And I'm just not talking about. I'm sure since you're smart enough to 
come up with an idea for a business and institute the things that make a business a business, which is establishing yourself as a business, running yourself like a business, going about doing the things in order to make your business a business, which means making it run like a business in a business-like fashion. I am a big fan of Tupac, and to quote the famous Tupac, I am a businessman. Why? Because you can find me in my place of business. And the evolution of business is not, I I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to focus on what's trending at the time. I'm not going to focus on what's popular in the culture at this time, whatever time this may be, whatever time you might be listening. I'm going to get into your head. I'm going to allow you inside my head. Because that's where the evolution of your business takes place inside your head. And I'm here to let you know now that the evolution that takes place inside your head dealing with your business is exactly that an evolution, which means. Time, which means taking notes, which means writing down every single idea, no matter how silly you might think it may be at the time, no matter how ingenious you think it might be at the time. The evolution of business I'm speaking of is not what everybody else is thinking is popular, not what the masses is thinking thinking is popular at the time. Because what's trending right now and what's popular right now will fade away. The evolution I'm speaking of is evolution that will last, which in turn will make your business last a very long time, well after you're gone, and whether you pass it on to your children or in your children's children or someone that you think is more uh, most capable of running your business after you're gone. To quote another famous man, Alexander the Great, on his deathbed, one of his subordinates asked, who do you want to take over? Who do you want to be in charge when you're gone? Because they knew that he was going to die. And in the words of Alexander the Great, The strongest. That is the evolution of business that I am talking about today, not what's popular, not what's trending on Twitter. Not what's popular in pop culture right now. Not the latest fashions or. Anything of that nature. The evolution I'm speaking of is ideas that will last long into the future.
long after trends passed. Long after trends pass, excuse me. And the way to do that is, like I said, write everything down. When I wrote my first business plan, or excuse me, when I wrote my second business plan, I spent three months before I even started on my business plan. Three months, 90 days before I even wrote the first paragraph of my business plan. I spent three months writing every single idea that popped in my head down on a piece of paper. Some of them you will use. Some of them, when you begin to institute your business plan, will seem absolutely meaningless. But it is still good to write it down because some of them will be absolutely genius to what you are trying to accomplish and absolute absolutely will be absolutely vital to what you you are trying to accomplish so the evolution of business is thinking ahead now as far as ideas you can come up with ideas every day you can come up with an idea right now Instit institute it into your business plan institute it into your business Institute it into your business's daily activity. But will it last for the long term? That remains to be seen. But instituting the idea period. Is in itself an evolution. Because you will not know if it works. If you do not institute it. Because the ideas you come up with right now. And the ideas that you come up with six months from now. You will know which one works and which one does not. But like I said earlier. Time tells the evolution of your small business. It's very easy to come up with an idea. And as you know, it takes an entre entrepreneurial spirit to institute the idea and make it into reality. But in order to make that idea successful, but it, in order to know if that idea works for your business or not, takes a massive amount of research and takes a massive amount of your time. The worst thing. Now we're getting in, in into my personal experiences. The worst thing you can do is rack your brain. The worst thing you can do is pace the floor. The worst thing you can do is spend your leisure time killing your brain, overwhelming yourself, And burning yourself out. I'm sure you you all know the story of the tortoise and the hare. The hare, which is a rabbit, challenges the tortoise to a race. And the 
long story short, the tortoise ends up winning. Now, the last thing you want to do is take your ideas and make your time spent on these ideas excruciating. Running a business is supposed to be enjoyable. Never forget running your business is supposed to be a passion. Passion feels good. It feels damn good. Just like a good idea. But after a while, just as in life, passion wears off. Especially if you're not reaching the goals that you want. If you're not making the money that you want. If you're not getting the views that you want. If you're not getting the response that you want. So let me jump into my own experience. I started a website. It was for mental health. I took a psychology class in college and I was very interested in the mind and how it works. And after learning a few things, I felt very passionate, passionate about people with mental disabilities and I decided to make a website to help people with such mental disabilities. And I had a pretty good idea. It was a series of live communities and it had information. It had a series of the top 10 mental Disorders in the United States, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar, ADD, anxiety, anxiety, uh, things like that. And on each page, I called a community. There was a depression community, bipolar di- community, schizophrenia community. And in, in each community, it had information on each disorder and Under each RSS feed or under each segment of information, it had a video pertaining to that particular disorder and a live chat section where viewers that suffer from that particular disorder can come to that particular community and discuss with each other their disorder and what they've been through and give each other uh, support and suggestions and and ways of, of helping each other. Pretty good idea. And it was a passion of mine. It, 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 it was a goal of mine to make it a, a success. And I did all the right things. I opened up all the, so I created all the social media accounts to the, to the website, created the website, designed the website, promoted, marketed, advertised the website, spent my own money, a lot of money. A lot of money, several thousands of dollars into this website in order to make it, make it successful. But it failed. Three years of my life failed for a good cause. And it was for a good cause. And it wasn't just to make money. It was to help people. But every day I, I got up around the same time, went to work, worked on the site, promoted the site, made the site better. Did all my research, called upon my college days of um, my Psych 101 class and never gave my professional opinion, just um, 
placed RSS feeds of other um, mental health websites in order to get the correct information and allowed viewers to talk amongst themselves. Never gave professional advice because I'm I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist, I just let viewers talk am amongst themselves. But the website failed, never got off the ground, never made a dime. And this website, just like anything else, at first it started off in my mind great. Loved it. Loved doing it every day. Loved working on the website every day. Loved promoting the website every day. Taught everyone about it. But after a while, after literally years of seeing the live chat sections empty, there were, there were a few comments here and there. There were a few times that people logged on, gave their opinions, gave their personal accounts of what they were going through and things of that nature of in each uh, specific community. But the, the, the website after three years never really took off the way I wanted it to. Why it fails, why it failed, I don't know. Sometimes that's the way the, the, the ball bounces. Sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes that's just how it goes in business. The, 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 the best ideas can, can go unrealized even if you put in all the hard work and all of the innovation and marketing and advertising possible. Even, even the best and brightest ideas can fail. But the point of that story is, after a while, I realized that it was not working. And even though it pained me, and even though I had a small following, I had to let the website go. And move on to something else. But the point I'm trying to make is I never lost lost that passion. All of, all of those three years. Yes, I got frustrated at times. Yes, I I I, I racked my brain sometimes on how to how to get people to the site, how to market better, advertise better, get my name out there more efficiently. But I never lost the passion for that website. And I still love that website, even though it's gone. And I still love that idea to death, even though it's gone. And even now, I, I never regret, I, I would not do one thing differently. When it came to that website, when it came to that, to that business, I, I would not do one thing differently than I did. And not only is the evolution of business coming up with ideas that will last, but and come and, and and getting into something that you're passionate about, but the evolution of business is also coming to a realize a realization when something is not working and, and and coming to the conclusion that you have to move on to something else. So at, at, at the risk of using cheap cliches and at the use of sa uh, sounding cheesy, sometimes you got to move on. After a period of time when, when you're not making the money you want to make, sometimes when you don't have the following that, that you want or need in order to make the business successful, 
And even though you did all the due diligence, written down all the ideas you have, made a perfect business plan, institute, instituted an incredible marketing and advertising campaign, sometimes none of that works. And, have, and you have to come up with something else. But the evolution of business is being in business and being in, and sometimes being in business is moving on to another business. When the one that you just created does not work. And just to reiterate what I said before, some ideas come later. An idea that you don't have now, you'll think of once you have everything in place, once you have the website up, once you have the brick and mortar store set up, once you have all the services set up, once the business plan is made, once once the uh, business is a reality, once you're making uh, a little bit of money, sometimes those things are not as successful as you need them to be or as you want them to be. And you have to let it go and you have to move on to something else. That is the evolution of business. That is the part of the evolution of business. Not only ideas, not only innovation, not only being patient, but the, innov- the evolution of business is also realizing when you need to move on to something else. Having the entrepreneurial spirit to move on and the know-how to come up with something else, something bigger, something better, or something similar. That will last. And that is something you can't quite put your finger on. You can't see it. You can't touch it. You can't smell it. But once it is successful, it is something that you can feel. Not only in your mind and in your heart, but in your wallet as well. And that is the evolution of business. Knowing that some ideas come later on down the line, an idea that that you might not have now will will will, will pop into your head a year from now, well into well in, in into your 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 business's first or second year. So that is my perspective on the evolution of business. What did you think? Let me know. That is what the comment section of YouTube is for. And let me know if you think I am just blowing smoke up your ass. Let me know if I am speaking some truth. Let me know if you've been there, done that before. Let me know if you've been successful. Let me know your your failures. But all in all, just let me know what what, uh, your perspective on the evolution of business is. This has been Jonathan Riley from MaximalExposure.net, where we provide online promotions for small businesses and thank you everyone for listening i'll see you then i'll talk to you guys in the next upload